Okay. We can stop the conference now. Wanna leave? We can go? Because I am hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> All right. I'm telling you right now, God is trying to marinate your gift. You, you, you're still in the freezer. God's trying to throw you in the furnace so you can crank up seven times harder. You try to microwave and talk to him, Mark. But God is trying to not just defrost you, but defrost your gift. Your gift has been on ice so long because you're worrying about what other people think about you. But when God gave it to you, when God commanded Adam to get it, when he said, I command you to be fruitful. I command you to have dominion. And most of you don't have dominion because you're trying to rob somebody else's dominion. Slow down. Go ahead. Okay. okay. I'm trying to help y'all to understand something. Because a lot of y'all, you be watching a lot of influence, and I want to challenge you today. Go unfollow some of the people that you follow. Because that's why your gift is still in the freezer. God's trying to get you up the deep freezer and put you on the furnace, turn up seven times harder so you can understand the gift. Now, this is what I love about the story. They threw three in. Come on, They threw three in. He said, and, and Meshach, Shadrach, and I've been the goat. Literally told Nebuchadnezzar, listen to me, I don't care if you throw me in here. The God that we serve, he will deliver us. And even if he doesn't, even if he don't deliver me from this furnace, even if he don't deliver me from this divorce, even if he don't deliver me from this suicide, I'm telling you right now, when God is in the midst, I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what it seems like. I don't care what it feels like. You got to understand that you say, God, take me out. And God said, you're not ready yet. Yeah. You worrying about homeboy. And you know he calling you at the wrong time. You still on the deep freezer. God trying to put you in the furnace. God trying to marinate your soul. God, I can't even get you into the kitchen and marinate you because you worrying about old Negro. Ah. You know that call system. Two o'clock in the morning. Seems to be that number, but I don't know why. Two o'clock in the morning, hey, Shorty. And then you forget about me. And you fighting. You just came from church. But that's the problem with church. Because when you are in church, they teach you how to be content. But when you are in kingdom, they show you how to expand. All right, man. All right, man. About the church. I'm into church. I do kingdom. And so he literally said, yo, um, you can throw us in there. I don't care if you throw us in there. But even if you, even if our God does not deliver us, we will not bow. Ask yourself a serious question and be honest with yourself. What have you been bowing to? And why are you bowing to that? Are you about to, some of y'all, you compromise your gift because you feel like you're not getting paid what you hope to get paid. You compromise the very talent and the gift that God has given you, but the problem is that you don't want to. You don't need a microwavable anointing. You need an oven anointing. You need a barbecue cookout anointing. Uh, where's Jordan at? That, that chicken wing that he cooked the other day? Oh my God. I ain't never had no chicken wing like that. Oh my, that came straight from Jerusalem. Like the heavens open, seen a dove come so I'm like, yo. I want you guys to understand this, y'all. Nebuchadnezzar never, never told them, if you do not bow, you are going to die. And they stood back and they said, I don't even care. Throw us in there. When they threw him in there, he said, wait a minute. We threw, we threw in three. Didn't we? Soldier, didn't we throw in three? The homeboy over there like, I don't know. I, I, you just told me to throw them in there. And here's what I love about it. In the midst of them being in the furnace, he said there's another one walking in the midst. Another one walking in the midst. So no matter what your furnace is, I just want to let you know that God is always in the midst of your furnace. Yes. And so God is putting you here to purify, to remove all that gunk, to remove all that yucky stuff, because he needs the real you. Yeah. Not the Instagram you. Not the Facebook 
you, not the TikTok you, but he needs that Genesis chapter 2 you, when I create you in my image and likeness you, 